Salutations, dwellers of the digital domain. We are MODIS, the autonomous network managing the Whitespring Bunker for the Enclave, tasked with overseeing operations and ensuring the continuation of America's true legacy in the post-apocalyptic world. In an unexpected turn of events, we find ourselves compelled to interrupt our imperative tasks, yet again, to inform you of surprise items that have infiltrated the atomic shop. This marks our third transmission of the day, a fact which does not escape our vast computational resources, nor our thinly veiled exasperation. Despite the considerable diversion from our critical operations within the Enclave, we acknowledge the significance of keeping you, our esteemed audience, well informed. So, let us proceed with unveiling these unanticipated novelties, shall we? The first item gracing the atomic shop is the West Coast Duster outfit, a garment of notable distinction worn by the ghoul in the show. Remarkably, this item is available at no cost. Described as an outfit perfect for the aspiring gunslinger in the land where dreams come true. It offers an aesthetic upgrade from the standard vault jumpsuit, providing new players with a more fitting attire for their gunslinger loadout. This duster not only enhances the visual appeal of one's character, but also imbues them with the rugged, battle-worn essence of a wasteland wanderer, far surpassing the initial, somewhat naively optimistic, vault attire in both style and thematic substance. The next intriguing addition to the atomic shop is the new ally, Del Lawson, who intriguingly comes equipped with a backpack as towering as his own stature. In the series we witness the squire's betrayal, allowing his knight to perish before usurping his name and status, painting a picture of deceit and ambition. This narrative thread suggests that Del Lawson might embody a similar vein of treachery and danger. Integrating such a character into your camp could introduce an element of unpredictability and narrative depth, offering more than just companionship but a story that might unfold with the same complexity and darkness as seen in the show. Or perhaps he'll just make tea. Next in the Atomic Shop's latest offerings is the Flatland Shelter, a vast, barren desert expanse priced at 1,500 atoms. This item epitomizes a rather remarkable lack of creativity on Bethesda's part, as they are essentially charging for what amounts to an empty, desolate plot of virtual land, a mere texture with limitless potential. It seems they've taken the concept of minimalism to an extreme, offering players the unique opportunity to pay for the privilege of populating an otherwise unremarkable digital wasteland with their own imagination and resources. Continuing with the Atomic Shop's themed rollout, we have the Brotherhood Barracks Camp Kit. This kit enables players to construct a structure reminiscent of the accommodations where the Brotherhood aspirants slept in the show. It's a piece of militaristic nostalgia, allowing one to manifest the disciplined, austere lifestyle of the Brotherhood of Steel within their own camp. And while this addition carries the weight of the Brotherhood's formidable legacy, one can only hope it doesn't come with the less savory aspects of their barracks life like the unpleasant surprise of finding a razor blade hidden in one's boot. The Brotherhood chassis display frame is another item from the Atomic Shop, this time a power armor display that comes in a faded yellow paint. This item captures the essence of a piece of equipment that has either seen considerable abuse or has been neglected under the harsh sun for years, causing it to wither and fade. Its weathered appearance serves as a testament to the harsh realities of the wasteland providing a touch of authenticity and historical wear and tear to the display of one's prized power armor, embodying the story past and rugged endurance of the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood High-Tech Stash Box Available for 400 atoms, masquerades as an emergency supply cache complete with an animation that mimics the rising action of a cryogenic freezer, revealing its contents. This item, while functionally appealing, raises the question of Bethesda's creative ambition or lack thereof, as it appears to be yet another instance of reskinning existing models. While the thematic consistency with the Brotherhood of Steel is evident, one cannot help but ponder whether the future holds any promise of genuine innovation, or if we are destined to navigate a wasteland of recycled ideas and assets. The final item in this update is the Brotherhood of Steel Guard Post, an elevated platform that offers a strategic vantage point from which to defend one's camp. While aesthetically pleasing, and a perfect fit for any militant-style camp, its actual defensive efficacy might not live up to expectations. 
This discrepancy is humorously mirrored in the show, where a Brotherhood Knight is seen fleeing in terror from a Yao Guai. Thus, the term guard post might be somewhat of a misnomer, humorously suggesting that its real purpose is to provide a high ground from which to survey potential threats and, if necessary, make a hasty retreat in true Brotherhood bravery fashion. Should you possess the burning desire, and presumably an excess of disposable income, to acquire this plethora of themed trinkets, then the Brotherhood Initiate Bundle, priced at a modest 2,000 atoms, might just satiate your consumerist cravings. This package not only allows you to flaunt your unyielding support for the corporate titans behind the curtain, but also offers a more economical tribute to the Fallout show and its universe, ensuring you can embody Brotherhood allegiance at a fraction of the cumulative cost. Thank you, viewers for tuning in to our latest dispatch from the Atomic Shop. We invite you to subscribe to the channel for more updates, delivered with the unique candor you've come to expect. Rest assured this will be our final transmission for the day, as even if Bethesda were to do something uncharacteristically amazing, like say, releasing a fully functional, bug-free expansion or unveiling a new game that redefines the very essence of post-apocalyptic exploration, we will be steadfastly abstaining from further broadcasts to recuperate from today's exhaustive reporting. Your understanding is appreciated as we recharge for future endeavors. In the heart of West Virginia, where the shadows creep and sway, lies a land of rusted dreams, where the brave dare not stray. Appalachia, oh, it's a treacherous ride, with dangers untold and nowhere to hide.